gales pound Britain's coastline, striking with 80 mile an hour ferocity, typhoon like storms play havoc on seafronts. So fierce is the gale in Sussex that a double decker bus is swept into the River Adior, 20 feet below Old Shoreham Bridge. 24 people were trapped, but miraculously, only one was seriously injured. In London, too, buses are swept off the streets. Busy streets are deserted and three million Londoners have to walk home as a man-made storm disrupts transport. The cause of it all, a Saturday afternoon strike by the capital's 40,000 bus and tram workers. More than 8,000 buses are immobilised and it's a case of all change everywhere. Tempers grew shorter and queues longer. Down at Southampton, January storms caused yet another hold-up. The giant Cunada Queen Mary is loaded up with 100 tonnes of cement, which it is hoped will fill in all the damage below the waterline caused when Britain's great dollar owner ran aground outside Cherbourg. The delay will cost several thousand dollars in passengers' fares on top of a thousand pound repair bill. Divers working by underwater searchlights report bent plates and a straining of the keel. With Britain's weather temporarily taking a back seat, a near nationwide hold-up is over. Roll on spring. <laughs>